This graph shows a distance time graph for someone who, from school who goes on a bike ride. They travel away from school, away from school, and get to 10 miles away from school. This part of the journey here shows them returning to school until they're back to school here. And there are three questions here which I want to answer about this graph. Now question one just says, what is the speed in the first hour? Well, if we look at the graph, we can see how in the first hour, this person travels two miles. So he travels two miles in one hour, so his speed is two miles per hour. As an aside, we can see how his speed is constant here, but then actually decreases. He slows down because the gradient of that line is less steep. Question two then says, how long does he stop for? Well, stopping on this is denoted by the horizontal part of the graph, where he does not cover any distance. His distance from school is fixed at 10 miles. He is therefore stationary. If we look down from the graph, we can see how he is fixed or stationary for three hours, between five and eight. So he stops for three hours. The final question says, what is his average speed for the entire journey? Average speed is a simple thing to work out. It is total distance divided by total time. Well, he travels 10 miles away from school and 10 miles back, so he travels 20 miles. But including all his stops and all his rests, he travels for 12 hours in total. So his average speed is 20 divided by 12, which can be written as either a fraction or a decimal but it's 2.67 miles per hour.